you want an easy way to spice up your text, then this tutorial is going to show you how to type any text in a circular shape here in Photoshop. So let's get started. What's happening guys? My name is Brendan from BeWillCreative.com and on this channel we love to talk about photo editing, Photoshop and all that good stuff. So if that sounds like something that you'd be into, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you never miss a video. Now today we're going to talk about how to spice things up and type things in a circular shape in Photoshop. Now there are a few different ways that you can create this effect but it all revolves around two different tools. The first tool is the text tool obviously and the second tool is the shape tool and particularly the ellipse shape tool. So this is what we'll be using to create our circular shape and our circular paths. In our first example I'm Going to use a bunch of different shapes to create a sort of emblem thing around a logo. The second example, we're just going to use a regular path to just type text in a circular shape with no extra shapes around it. And then in the third example, I'm going to show you how you can create your own paths to customize the angle and the curvature of your text. So with all that said, let's hop into Photoshop and see how it's done. So to start things off, I want to draw a series of outline circles around my logo here. So to do that, I'll grab my shape tool and particularly grab the ellipse tool. Once you have that selected, since I want to create an outline, I want to leave the fill set to transparent, which is represented by this white box with the red line. And then I'm going to go and set my stroke to whatever color I want the outline to be. In this case, I'll just leave it to white. Double checking that my stroke option is set to a solid stroke. I'm going to click and drag out to create that circle and I'm going to hold the shift key to ensure it's a perfect circle. I'll drag that out to be the right size that I want and I'll hold the space bar to reposition the whole thing as one. So now that's somewhere in the right vicinity right there and I'll let go to create my shape. Now just to make sure that everything is centered, I'm going to hold Command or Control A to highlight my entire canvas, grab my Move tool by pressing V, and then I'm going to center horizontally and center vertically. And now that circle is perfectly aligned to the middle of my canvas. That's going to help us with our text later on. So looking at this circle here, you can see that we have our transform box, but then within the circle, we have a thin line and that represents the path. So whenever you see a path like this, you can use it as a baseline to work your text around. Grab my text tool by pressing P or you can find it here in the toolbar. You'll notice how if I have my cursor away from the circle, it's just the text icon with a square box around it. If I go to the inside of the circle, it has a circle around it. But if I go and hover right over the line, it has this sort of wavy icon. So when you see that wavy icon, that's when you want to click. And that means that you'll be able to write on that path. So with my path selected, I can type what I want. I'll just write Photoshop tutorials and commit to my text with the check mark. So since we have selected that circular path to write on, our text is going to stick against that line or against that path. From here, you can edit your text just as before. You can highlight it and change all of your settings up here, or you can use your character panel. But the more important thing that you'll probably want to work on is the alignment of your text. So the one thing that's going to make a big difference here is the actual alignment of your text, whether it's aligned to left, center, or the right. In this case, I'm going to align my text to the left, and that's going to change how everything is positioned, but that's not to worry because we can move it again after. With our text aligned to the left, I'm going to create a grid around my canvas to know exactly where the center is vertically and horizontally. So to do that, all we have to do is go here to view and down here to new guide layout. We'll add in two for the columns and two for the rows. Make sure your gutter is set to to zero and click OK. Now we have two perfect lines horizontally and vertically, and we can use these as reference to center our text within the circle. Now, if you grab your text tool, you can't actually move the text. You can only highlight it. So that's not very helpful. Instead, you have to use a different tool called the path selection tool. You can access it by pressing A on your keyboard, or you can find it right here in your toolbar. With that tool selected, you can now click anywhere on your path and notice how it repositions the text. Since we have our text aligned to the left, every time I add a new point with the path selection tool, it's going to align the beginning of my text to that point. You can also click and drag to move your text and as you can see, there's that little line to indicate where that starting point is. If you look over on the bottom right of the path, you can see another line representing the end of our text. So if I move my starting point all the way around and then suddenly my text hits that ending point, it's going to start to disappear. Now, since I want to center this, I'm going to align my starting point right with the horizontal center line. I'll then go to the area of my end point, click and drag that up. And now that's going to change where the end of my text will be. So now at this point, we have 
both our starting and ending position aligned to the center of our canvas. So that means that we can now just center our text and it's going to automatically center it on our circle. Now to do that, we'll just once again, grab our text tool by pressing T, select our text, and we will click the center text icon and that's gonna move everything over for us. And since we have our starting position indicated here by the X and our ending position indicated here by the circle, our text is going to center itself between those two points. And in this case, that centers it perfectly at the top of the circle. Now you might have wanted to do this with the move tool and just rotated it, but I find this method to be a lot more precise with positioning where your text sits along your path. Now that we have our text nice and centered, we don't need this grid anymore. So let's get rid of that by going up to view and down here to clear guides. That's gonna hide all of those guides for us in one go. Now, since we have a circle outline, that means that the path is sitting in the center of that outline, which means our text is sitting halfway inside that outline and halfway outside that outline. I want all the text to sit outside of it. So to do that, we just have to adjust the baseline in our characters panel. So clicking on our characters panel here, if you don't see this, you can go up here to window and down here to character to open this panel. And then we'll go down to our baseline shift option and we'll click and drag that up to change the value and notice how our text lifts off of our path. It's still following the same angle, but it's just separating itself from the path. So bringing it up to about three there looks perfect and it's now sitting just on the outside of the outline. So now our upper text is positioned, everything looks super good, and now I want to add some text down here on the bottom. I wanna add the website in. So rather than going through all of this again, we've pretty much done all the work with our first text layer here. So I'll just duplicate this layer and bring it down below. So with my text layer selected, I'll press Command or Control J to duplicate it, and then I'm gonna grab my path selection tool, click on that text, and I'm gonna drag it inwards. And so now what you can see the duplicate is on the inside of our path, and then I'll rotate that around until it's sitting right at the bottom of our circle. Now I wanna edit the text, so I'll grab my text tool, click on that text layer. I'm gonna change up the font this time. I'll go to a nice Bebis new, and I'll even change the color to white. Now with all that, I'll type in my new text that I want. Now I kinda of want these letters to be spaced out a little, so I'm just gonna adjust the tracking here and move that up just a little, like so, to space out those letters, and I'll bring down the font size, just so it's not so in my face. And that looks pretty good there. Now we have a nice ring of text around the top and the bottom, and we can go and add a few other circles in to complete the effect. Now going through the same process with the ellipse tool and creating that stroked outline, I've now ended up with this result as a cool little effect around my logo. This is a super easy thing that you can do with your logo or just to create a random emblem just for fun. Now in this example, we use the path of a shape layer to base our text around, but what if you don't want any visible shape? You don't want any of these circles, you just want your text to be curved and that's it. Well, luckily you can do that using the same tools, but there's a slightly different method. So here's how to do it. Starting fresh here, we're gonna once again grab our ellipse tool here, but this time we're gonna go up to our settings and change the option from shape to path. Now we won't have any shape options. We won't have any of that color stuff. We're just gonna have that path to type our text around. So now clicking and dragging out to create that path, Again, holding shift to create a perfect circle and the space bar to move your path as one. I'm going to position this somewhere in my canvas here like so. And now rather than having that outline, we have just the path that we use to curve our text. Now following the same steps as before, I'll grab my text tool by pressing T and we're gonna hover over that path until we see that wavy line. We'll click on there and now we can add our text. Now, just like any other text layer, you can still edit your text as normal. You can still change the font and all that kind of stuff. But in this case, it looks looks as is because it's copying the same font as I was using before. So if I wanted this text to sit right against the line, I could go and bring down that baseline shift once again, it's gonna bring that in like so. Now to move this text around your shape, you can once again grab your path selection tool by pressing A, and you can go and hover over your text here and click where you want to reposition it. Since my text is aligned to center, it's going to adjust the center point of that text. So as I move this, you can see how the middle indicator there lines up with the center of my text. So this is really easy if you wanna just align it straight to the top or you want it align to one side or another. In this case, I'll once again, just align it straight to the top here and I'll go ahead and rescale the size of my text. Now, if you wanna shift your text from the outside of your path to the inside, all you have to do is grab your path selection tool, click on that text and drag it inside of your circle. Now it's gonna switch sides of your path and it will show up on the inside of the path rather than the outside, just by moving your cursor to the inward side of the path. And just like that, you've now created circular text with no extra shapes using the same tool as before, but this time as a path rather than a shape. 
So now for the final example, let's talk about how you can customize these paths to create just about any shape of text that you want. Starting fresh once again, one of the best tools to create paths with is in fact the pen tool. Now I've talked all about the pen tool in other tutorials and if you want to learn more about it then hit the link in the description below. But for this example, we're just gonna use the pen tool to create a curved path for our text. So pressing P on our keyboard to grab our pen tool, I'm gonna to click and add some anchor points and drag out to curve that path into a wavy shape like so. Now, just like before, we can grab our text tool and this time hover right over that pen path and notice how our icon goes once again to that squiggly line. We'll click there and we can type whatever we want. And this time it's gonna follow that pen path so you can customize exactly what shape you want your text to form. It's really as simple as that and paths are your absolute best friend when you wanna curve any type of text in Photoshop. All right guys, so that's all I have for you for today. I know we covered a lot in this tutorial and a little bit more than just writing text in a circular shape, but now I'm confident that you'll be a master at typing circle or curved text here in Photoshop. So if you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to hit that like button and also consider subscribing so you never miss another video. Now, if you're looking for even more tutorials, then make sure to check out my blog at bewillcreative.com where we got tons of photo editing and Photoshop goodness that you will absolutely love. So with that, once again, my name is Brendan and I hope to see you back here next time. See you then.